very much. And now to the 39th Congressional District race. There's a rematch between incumbent Gil Cisneros and challenger Republican Young Kim. GOP wants this seat back. Of course, Cisneros won it back in 2018 with 52 percent of the vote. Young 48 percent is expected to be a tight race with 86 percent of the precincts reporting right now. This district tends to lean right. But Cisneros' support of President Trump's impeachment could actually hurt him. So we'll see how all that plays out. Not right very, now, 56% Young Kim, 39% Gil Cisneros. Yeah, very close in 2018. Looks to be very close this time around this primary. That district split among Asian Americans, Latinos, and whites. We'll continue to follow that uh, here on KCAL 9. Leslie Marine is live in Buena Park where Young Kim supporters gathered tonight. Leslie? Well, Jeff, I can tell you that that party already over, despite you can see no one really here. They have packed up. They have left. That is because despite the results being so close, uh, young Kim telling her supporters just to go home, get some sleep because the real work, she says, starts tomorrow. Take a listen. We only need to be top two. That's why I'm confident we're going to November for sure. Um, but having said that, I want everybody to not be so complacent. We got a long marathon ahead of us. The work really begins now. Well, Gil Sosneros, we know, watched that race from Washington, D.C., and we did hear from the Orange County Democratic chair uh, who talked about this race as well as his campaign. Take a listen. We're really proud of his leadership. He's taken up the ACA for all of America. And it's really crucial for us to keep our health care, pre-existing conditions. And we have no doubt that his constituents will re-elect him to represent us in, in D.C. Well, Gil Cisneros did release a statement in that uh, he thanked his supporters as well as taking jabs at Young Kim, saying Young Kim is the same Young Kim who voters rejected in 2018. I'm confident when voters compare our records side by side, they'll choose to send me back to Congress. So you can tell by those words, this is going to be a very heated debate uh, race, I should say, come November. Um, back in 2018, when we saw this midterm election, Gil Cisneros only won by three percentage points. They had to count all the votes. By that time, uh, Young Kim had gone to Washington, D.C. She thought she would have taken that House seat for the 39th District, only to find out that Gil Cisneros had won. So by seeing the results of the primary, both candidates know that this will be a very heated race come the general election. For now, reporting live, Leslie Manning, back to you guys in studio. Okay.